In the nearly six weeks after Hurricane Maria, one of the few shining lights in the Puerto Rican relief effort has been religious groups providing direct aid to citizens of the island. A team of doctors and volunteers from South Florida just returned after helping a lot of senior citizens there. CBS 4's Hank Tester reports. Yabacoa, Puerto Rico, nuns from the local Catholic Church and their priests working with doctors and volunteers from the Islamic Circle of North America. You might remember CBS4 was there when the relief team headed out to Puerto Rico, luggage bulging with medical supplies. Video provided to us by the group documents their trip and the plight of senior citizens on the island. Uh, most of them they didn't have insulin. The insulin they ran out, so they had high blood pressure. The sugar was very high. Be okay. The group visited four small cities and then San Juan, where they set up their portable clinic inside a Walmart and provided medical checkups and needed medicines. But the senior citizens, those who could not move around so much, they stuck in that place and there are nobody there taking care of them. The medical team noticed that while the seniors are stuck, younger people leaving the island for the U.S. mainland. CBS4 visited Yabacoa three weeks ago. We found the residents, many seniors, with no power, no water, hard to get food, scrambling to get by. Representatives of the Islamic Circle had been there just about the same time, then returned this week. And what's the latest? I don't see any improvement at, on the street. And the situation of the people, pretty much the same it was two weeks ago. 23% of the Puerto Rican population is over the age of 60, most on Social Security. Now, according to our news partners at the Miami Herald, AARP is sending food to six to 7,000 seniors in Puerto Rico. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News Tonight.